Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, get ready for an exciting biblical journey. We've curated 25 questions to challenge your knowledge of the Holy Bible. Are you ready to prove just how well you know the scriptures? But wait a moment, before we delve into the quiz, don't forget hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support aids us in spreading the teachings of God. Once you're done with the quiz, don't forget leave a comment below sharing how many questions you got right. We're eager to engage with you and be part of your Bible exploration. So, are you ready to dive into this enlightening adventure? Let's get started. Question 1. Which town was Jesus in when he healed the blind man by spitting on his eyes? A. Capernaum B. Jericho C. Bethsaida D. Bethany You get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was Bethsaida. Mark chapter 8 verses 22 to 26. This miracle shows Jesus' compassion and power to heal, as well as his ability to use unconventional methods to accomplish his purposes. The healing of the blind man also serves as a metaphor for spiritual blindness, highlighting Jesus' role as the light of the world who opens our eyes to see the truth. Question 2. In which town did Jesus turn water into wine? A. Cana B. Jerusalem C. Bethany D. Bethlehem You get 10 seconds. That's A. The correct answer was Cana. John chapter 2 verses 1 to 11. This event took place in the town of Cana, which was located in Galilee. It was one of the early miracles performed by Jesus, demonstrating his power and revealing his identity as the Son of God. Question 3. How did Jesus respond when the disciples asked him to teach them to pray? A. He refused. B. He gave them a parable. C. He told them to pray in private. D. He taught them the Lord's Prayer. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was, he taught them the Lord's Prayer. Luke chapter 11 verses 1 to 4. This prayer serves as a guide for believers, teaching them to approach God with reverence, acknowledge His sovereignty, seek His provision, ask for forgiveness, and pray for deliverance from evil. Jesus' response shows His willingness to teach and guide His disciples in matters of faith and spiritual practice. Question 4. Who were the parents of John the Baptist? A. Aquila and Priscilla B. Joseph and Mary C. Ananias and Sapphira D. Zechariah and Elizabeth You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was Zechariah and Elizabeth. Luke chapter 1 verses 13 to 17. This chapter states that John the Baptist's parents were Zechariah and Elizabeth. Elizabeth was a relative of Mary, the mother of Jesus. John was chosen by God to prepare the way for Jesus and to proclaim the coming of the Messiah. Question 5. What did Jesus say to calm the storm? A. Be calm. B. 
peace, be still. C, quiet, be still. D, be still, be peace, be still. You get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was quiet, be still. Mark chapter 4, verse 39. After Jesus rebuked the wind and said to the waves, quiet, be still, the wind died down and the lake became completely calm. This miracle demonstrates Jesus' power over nature and his ability to bring peace to chaotic situations. Question six, where was Jesus when he said, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath not where to lay his head. A. In a boat. B. On a mountain. C. In a temple. D. None of the above. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was none of the above. Matthew chapter 8 verse 20. This chapter states that Jesus said that sentence when a scribe offered to follow him wherever he went. Jesus was referring to his itinerant lifestyle as he traveled throughout Galilee and Judea preaching the gospel and healing the sick without having a permanent place to call home. Question 7. Which disciple was a tax collector before following Jesus? A. John B. Peter C. Matthew D. James You get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was Matthew. Matthew chapter 9, verse 9. Tax collectors were despised by the Jews because they were seen as collaborators with the Roman oppressors and often collected more than what was required by law. Matthew's decision to follow Jesus and leave his lucrative job shows his willingness to turn away from a life of greed and dishonesty to serve God. Question 8. Which Herod sought to kill Jesus during his infancy? A. Herod Antipas B. Herod the Great C. Herod Agrippa I D. Herod Agrippa II You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was Herod the Great. Matthew chapter 2, verse 16. When the wise men from the east came to Jerusalem in search of the newborn king of the Jews, Herod felt threatened and ordered the massacre of all male children in Bethlehem who were two years old and under. Question 9. What did Jesus do before he ascended into heaven? A. He broke bread. B. He sang a hymn. C. He washed the disciples' feet. D. He blessed his disciples. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was he blessed his disciples. Luke chapter 24 verses 50 to 53. Before his ascension into heaven, Jesus led his disciples out to Bethany. There, he blessed them and then was taken up into heaven. This event marked the conclusion of Jesus' earthly ministry and his return to the Father. 
Question 10. What did Jesus say about casting pearls before swine? A. That it is wise. B. That it is foolish. C. That it is commanded. D. That it should be done only on Sundays. You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was that it is foolish. Matthew chapter 7 verse 6. Jesus cautioned against casting pearls before swine, symbolizing valuable teachings given to those who won't appreciate them. This metaphor encourages discernment in sharing profound truths. Question 11. Who did Jesus say would deny him three times? A. Peter B. Judas C. John D. Matthew You get 10 seconds. That's A. The correct answer was Peter. Matthew chapter 26, verse 34. This chapter records Jesus saying to his disciple Peter, Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, This very night, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. This prophecy was fulfilled later that night when Peter indeed denied Jesus as foretold. Question 12. Who did Jesus say was like the wise man who built his house upon a rock? A. Those who do not hear his words and do not do them. B. Those who hear his words and do not do them. C. Those who do not hear his words. D. Those who hear his words and do them. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was, those who hear his words and do them. Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 to 27. This analogy emphasizes the importance of obedience and faith in Jesus' teachings. Those who build their lives on the solid foundation of his words will be able to withstand the storms of life, whereas those who do not will suffer great loss. Question 13. Who was the ruler of the synagogue whose daughter Jesus raised from the dead? A. Zacchaeus B. Jairus C. Nicodemus D. Caiaphas You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was Jairus. Mark chapter 5, verses 22 to 24. Despite interruptions and delays, Jairus persists in faith. This event illustrates the importance of unwavering trust in Jesus, even when circumstances seem dire. Ultimately, Jesus responds to Jairus' faith by raising his daughter from the dead. Question 14. What did the centurion say to Jesus when asking him to heal his servant? A. If you are willing, you can make him clean. B. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. C. If I may but touch your garment, I shall be whole. D. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was, 
speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Matthew chapter 8 verses 5 to 13. When Jesus offered to come and heal the servant, the centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. Question 15. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' body after his crucifixion? A. John B. Nicodemus C. Mary Magdalene D. Joseph of Arimathea You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was Joseph of Arimathea, Matthew chapter 27 verses 57 to 58 and John chapter 19 verse 38. His actions align with the fulfillment of prophecy and highlight the unexpected individuals who played crucial roles in the events surrounding Jesus' death and burial, emphasizing themes of courage, compassion, and divine providence. Question 16. What type of tree did Jesus curse for not bearing fruit? A. Fig tree B. Olive tree C. Apple tree D. Palm tree You get 10 seconds. That's A. The correct answer was fig tree. Matthew chapter 21 verses 18 to 22 and Mark chapter 11 verses 12 to 14. Jesus cursed a barren fig tree for not bearing fruit. This incident symbolizes the consequences of spiritual emptiness and serves as a lesson on genuine faith and the importance of producing spiritual fruits in our lives. Question 17. Which disciple walked on water towards Jesus? A. John B. James C. Andrew D. Peter You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was Peter. Matthew chapter 14, verse 29. Peter's bold step exemplifies faith but also highlights human frailty when doubt sets in. It teaches us to keep our focus on Christ amid life storms, trusting Him completely. Question 18. What did the disciples do when Jesus was transfigured before them? A. They ran away. B. They worshipped. C. They were afraid. D. They fell asleep. You get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was, they were afraid. Matthew chapter 17, verse 6. This profound event on the mountain involving Moses and Elijah who signify the law and the prophets showcase Jesus' divine glory. Peter, James, and John witnessed this radiant moment. Overwhelmed, they fell in fear. Question 19. With how many loaves and fishes did Jesus feed almost 5,000 men? A five loaves and two fish b five loaves and three fish c three loaves and three fish d three loaves and five fish you get 10 seconds That's A. The correct answer was 
five loaves and two fish. Matthew chapter 14, verse 17. This miracle demonstrates His power to abundantly provide for our needs and the importance of offering what little we have in faith. Question 20. In which gospel is the Sermon on the Mount? A. John B. Mark C. Luke D. Matthew You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was Matthew. Matthew chapter 5, verse 1. This significant discourse includes teachings like the Beatitudes, emphasizing moral and ethical principles, and guiding believers in righteous living. Question 21. What is the name of the blind man Jesus healed in Jericho? A. Simon B. Timaeus C. Zechariah D. Bartimaeus You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was Bartimaeus. Luke chapter 18 verse 35. Despite obstacles, Bartimaeus cries out to Jesus, who responds with compassion and restores his sight. This event underscores the accessibility of healing through faith in Christ's willingness to respond to those who earnestly seek him. Question 22. In which city did Jesus raise Lazarus from the dead? A. Nazareth B. Bethany C. Jerusalem D. Bethlehem. You get 10 seconds. That's B. The correct answer was Bethany. John chapter 11 verses 1 to 44. When Jesus arrived in the town of Bethany where Lazarus was buried, he commanded the stone to be rolled away and called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. Miraculously, Lazarus emerged from the tomb, still wrapped in burial clothes. Question 23. Where did Jesus raise a widow's son from the dead? A. Caesarea B. Samaria C. Nain D. Nazareth you get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was Nain. Luke chapter 7 verses 11 to 17. This poignant event showcases Christ's compassion for the grieving and his authority over death. Nain becomes a backdrop for the transformative power of Jesus, offering hope amid despair and revealing his divine nature. Question 24. Whose effigy was on the tribute they presented to Jesus? A. Caiaphas B. Herod C. Caesar D. Pilate You get 10 seconds. That's C. The correct answer was Caesar. Matthew chapter 22, verses 19 to 21. The Pharisees attempted to entrap Jesus by presenting a coin with Caesar's image and asking about paying taxes. Jesus, recognizing their malicious intent, wisely responded, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. It underscores the balance between civic responsibility and devotion to God. 
Question 25. How did Satan tempt Jesus in the wilderness? A. By offering him power. B. By offering him food. C. By offering him wealth. D. All of the above. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The correct answer was all of the above. Matthew chapter 4 verses 1 to 11. Satan tempted Jesus by offering him power, suggesting prideful actions, and tempting him with food. While the specific temptations varied, they collectively encompassed the areas of power, pride, and physical needs. Oh, wow! That was indeed an enlightening journey through the scriptures, testing your knowledge of the Bible. How did you do? Whether you ace the quiz or learn something new, remember that the Word of God is full of wonder, waiting for us to explore. If you enjoyed this quiz, please give the video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Let's see how they do on this biblical journey as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more quizzes and biblical insights. We value your feedback, so feel free to comment with your score, any questions you may have, or suggestions for future quizzes. Together, we can continue to deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for joining us today, and may you be blessed on your spiritual journey. Thank you and see you in the next video.